Hey YouTube, so I am back today to show you guys my aspiring professional makeup artist kit. This is the kit that I am currently using. As, so as soon as you go into the kit, you all see my prime and base area as well as you see my conceal section. So starting off, I may not do all the prices for everything and tell you all the places that I got it. But this is the Coastal Sins Camo Quad in Dark. I only purchased this shade because most of my clientele is African American. And as you see, I have been using this and it comes in handy for a foundation as well as using this as a contour color. I also have the LA Girl Pro Concealers. I have a various amount of shades that are good for African American skin tones. I have only currently used the color Classic Ivory and I used it to highlight on a client who was very fair complexion. So this worked great and it was very comparable to the MAC Concealer. These are the e.l.f. dollar concealers and I really like to use these to water down these thicker products or my concealer palette. I have some clientele who don't really have bad skin, they just need a light coverage so I like to use these to water down those products. This is my Wet n Wild Cover All Stick that I love to use for shaping and outlining my brows. For all of my clients, I feel that it's universal and I can use it on every skin tone just to basically outline the brow and on this side is where you go into my prime and base area so we're going to start off on this area and I have three primers two elf eyelid primers as well as a sample of the urban decay primer potion those come in handy this is a sample of mac face primer um I'm really close to one of the MAC makeup artists there, and she gave me three sample size of the primer fill in there, which really comes in handy seeing that I don't want to pay $17 for a full primer when I don't have steady clientele yet. So that comes in handy. Then I, oh, then I also have the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I love the pump. It's a clear silicone base, very, it mattifies the skin, works really well. put that top back on there. I'm trying to keep it neat as we go. So then I also have some disposable eyeshadow sponges. I like to use these to dig out products so that I don't always have to use one of my disposable spatulas or a brush whereas these are cheaper and they're easier just to dig out that product and put it onto my palette. So I have some of those as well as I have disposable mascara wands. These come in handy for when I'm shaping the brows and taming the brows as well as for mascara you can use them usually I'm able to use one mascara wand per client because I'm able to um, use one wand for the brows and then get another brown for the mascara so those really come in handy I also have three sharpeners the reason I have three is because if I have two clients back to back or I'm doing something like that I always have a sharpener on hand if one is dirty most likely I still have one available while the others are soaking in alcohol or witch hazel whichever I use this is my NYX eyeshadow base this is in white this is the eyeshadow base in white you can pick it up at your local beauty supply store this is the oops, sorry this is the complexion perfection black radiance primer I really like to use this for my clients with dry skin because I noticed that this is more of a, a silicone base and it's not oil free so it does make the oil very apparent on the skin so I like to use this for clients who have dry skin this was the elf set mist However, I had moisturizer from Olay that I wanted to be easier to put onto the skin of my client. So I put it in this bottle. Now I'm able to spray one squirt onto the face and it's really easy. And I love that I can just spray and go. I don't have to really dig or pump into my hand. As you guys see, I try to keep it organized as I'm going through it. So that's that. And I'll be right back for the Okay, guys. So moving right along to the next section. I'm going to open up my caboodle. I don't know why I want to keep calling it a kabuki. So on this side, the next level that I have is all of my lash items. 
I do have um, hair bonding glue because I find that when you're doing individuals or doing lashes that clients want to last the entire day from morning to after tonight, this comes in handy. I know some people say, oh, don't use that, but clients have, they love it and they say it lasts. So I have that as well as I have Duo Lash Goo in Clear White. I have stencils for brows. I don't use these when I'm doing just a regular brow. However, I have practiced the glitter or colored brows on clients, and that's when I like to use this. I also have different tools for eyebrows and taming eyebrows. I have all of the different brow shavers. I have about, I keep six of those at a time inside my kit, as well as I have two to four different shapes of tweezers. So as you guys see, I have this angled tweezer. Then I'll have some smaller tweezers. And I have these scissors so that if I need to, I call these my swan scissors. They're very sharp so that if I need to shape eyebrows or cut eyelashes to length, I can definitely use this. I also have my lady tweezers. And I really like these for those stubborn eyebrow hairs. So this comes in handy also. And also I have a little brush. I don't remember what kit this came into, but it's very helpful. I use it so that when I am doing my eyelashes, once I put it on, if I notice I need a little bit more glue, I don't have to take the entire lash off. I just put a little glue onto the brush and I'm able to get into that area. So some of the lashes that I have are Stardale Lash. And I have lots of Stardale Lashes. Lots of Stardale Lashes, 102, 202, 203, 201s. Um, these are some Red Cherry 202s. A lot of my clients like the Red Cherry, so I'm really running out of those. More Stardale and 203, 203s, and then more 203 Stardale Lashes. So as you see, I have various amount of lashes. I have lots of lashes, so... These are the ones that I usually keep into my case on the day-to-day -day basis. And so then when you go to, that's empty, that was all the lash, nothing else is in there. When you go to the next level, I have my eyebrow kits. I have it in light, medium, and dark. So this is the dark. I'll show you what this looks like. Give me one second. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and try to do this at the same time. So, this is what the e.l.f. eyebrow kit looks like. This is the darkest color. As you can see, this is like a powder on this side, and then the other side, the darkest, like a wax. And those come in handy when working with my clients. So, I'll just put in, I have it in light, medium, and dark, as I stated. Those were $3 each. Also, I like to have different types of concealers. So, I showed you the concealers that I most use where I have at the top. These are also three recent concealer coverage palettes that I received from e.l.f. I have it in light, medium, and dark as well. This is the light shade here. So, that's the light shade. This is the dark shade. As you can see, I really put this to use. And this is medium. I really like these because I feel as though they're really creamy. And I'm able to use these more as a foundation for clients who don't have really bad skin. So we're going to go on over to this side. So here I have some blushes as well as some eye items. This is my go-to e.l.f. blush in Pink Passion. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is it in Pink Passion. I really love this color. Let me show you what it looks like. That's that. Let me see if I can give you guys a swatch of what it looks like. That is how it looks. So that's a very nice, and even when you rub it, it's still there. So that's a really nice pink blush. As well as I have a e.l.f. cream eyeliner. I love this. This is my go-to eyeliner. I always buy it. Keep one on hand. It has cracked, however, it has not dried out. It still works, and this was $3. And I believe this blush was $3 as well. These are some MAC blushes. I got these about two years ago um, for my cousin who is a MAC, um, uh, who's, I'm sorry, who's a Mary Kay consultant. So I have those, and I don't really frequently use those, so I'll just go over a few of them. The first color I have here is Brick. So that's Brick, and they slide out like this. So I have that, as well as I believe this is Apricot Breeze. Very nice color. So 
so I'll, those are just the ones that I'll show. The other ones, I don't really use them as much. I have two liquid eyeliners. I have liquid liner in metallic silver. I have an eyeliner in black. And they were both e.l.f. Um, liquid eyeliners, and they were both a dollar. So the next thing that I have in this section are eyeshadow sticks. These are the cream eyeshadow sticks by e.l.f. Jumbo eyeshadow stick. And I have it in Midnight. That's Midnight. This is Little Miss Thing. This is Rock Out. Then I also have a Mega Protein Mascara. Because I'm usually using um, lashes, falsies, I do not use any of the Colossal or any of that mascara. I use Mega Protein by Wet n Wild. And I believe this is $2.49. And as you see, I do not keep the brush in there. I only keep this top on there so that it's easy to use. And I, it keeps me from accidentally using the spoolie that comes in here. So that's that. I went into there. There's still the blushes in there, but I went through all those. So we're going to go to the next level where you see my, this is there because I recently used it. This is the foundation that I use for more of my darker clients. It is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse in Cocoa. This is the darkest shade they have available. Because most of my clientele is African American, I this is what I use a lot. And it's as you see, I'm getting kind of empty. So this has worked really well for what I do. And I like it, and it's affordable. These are some samples I re recently received. This is the Becca um, Becca Concealer. This is the dark one. They also sent me the Becca and the Light. So those are nice. I have those in my kit. They also sent me the Makeup Forever powders. So I had those in my kit just in case I wanted to sample them. These are the Elf Dollar Collection um, Tinted Moisturizers. I um, really don't use these as much, but I have them in there just in case I ever need to water anything down. So I have those. also have some e.l.f. Studio High Definition Blush. I have one in Diva and the other in Showstopper. Showstopper is this coral. Diva is this fuchsia pink here. These are really good blushes. However, you want to use these before you put on face powder. So right after foundation is when you want to do this liquid high definition blush. I also found another use for these in which it is to make a lip stain. So I just put it directly, one pump directly onto the lips. And when I say you put it on there and you can eat, drink, do whatever and it won't go anywhere. Those definitely come in handy. So next we're going to go down to the main so guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into this bottom section here. And here I have all my palettes, more foundation, and more powder. So give me one second. I'm going to get everything laid out, and I'll be right back. Stay okay, guys, so I am back. These are the palettes that were in the bottom section of my caboodle. This is the 28 Neutral. Camouflage palette. I gotta take care of my feet. I gotta return the And this is my contour and blush palette. Like that's real life. So next I'm gonna go into some more of the face items that I have in the bottom of my kit. These are my go-to face items. Sorry about my lens popping out. So this, these are the HD Mattifying Cream Foundations. They're oil-free. I have four of them. 
And the colors that I have are almond, I have cocoa, I have buff, as well as caramel. And I'll insert a picture right here. Are my contour blush and bronzer palettes. This is Antigua. This is Turks and Caicos. And these were $3 each. These uh, blush and bronzers were $3 each. The mattifying foundations were $6 each. However, I got it when the studio line was 50% off. So I paid $3. So we have those. And then we have these. These have been my go-to ever since I decided to start makeup. These are the Revlon Colorstay Mineral Finishing Powders, which are very comparable to Max Mineralized Skin Finish. I have it in Sunkiss, Suntan Matte, and Brighton. And I'll insert a picture of those three as well. These are two of my last foundations that I use. These are the ELF Flawless, Flawless Finish Foundations. SPF 15, I have them in Almond, and I have them in Cocoa. And these are those, and these were $3 each. So, this is more of the skin things that I had in the bottom of my kit. And now we're going to move along to the set bag. So as I stated guys, we're at the next stage of my professional kit, my makeup artist kit, and this is my set bag. Um, about two years ago, I saw that a lot of people were having their caboodle and they were having a set bag. So I looked and I was like, a set bag? And Yasmo, I believe, was charging $50 or $60 on other sites as well for something that they called a set bag. It looked similar to this. So once I really looked, I was like, okay, if I'm not tripping, that looks like a shower caddy bag. So I went and found a shower bag that had the plastic so that it was easy to wipe and clean. And I decided to get this leopard print, which is definitely easy to keep clean. And so it has all these compartments on the side as well as the middle section. So I'm going to start with this one. I have some rubbing alcohol here. I have some astringent here. I believe this is astringent and uh, is this witch hazel? I think so. Mixed together just for sanitizing items. And then I have some clean and clear soothing eye makeup for clients who want to take off their makeup once they're done. I've done like one or two photo shoots and that's what most of this is used for. That one is empty. Then we have my disposable section. These, this is a loose powder puff, a larger loose powder puff. I have small spatulas to dig out products, lip gloss applicators, um, more plastic spatulas, and more lip gloss wands. So these are all my disposable items. This is all my disinfectant items. This is the palette that I've been using. It looks a little dirty because on yesterday, yesterday I worked on someone's brow as well as you see the black glue for me working on eyelid individual lashes. So that's what I usually use for mixing and getting things so that I don't have to put it on the back of my hand. Next thing that I have is individual eyelashes. I am working on being the master of eyelashes. Here in Sacramento, we don't really have, you know, there's people who do lashes, but I've never seen like, oh, that's the lash queen of Sacramento. So I'm working on that being me. So these are the individual lashes that I keep on hand. I have short, medium, and long, and they're all flare. These are my bejeweled rhinestones. I have these for when I'm going for more of a off the um, over the top look. I've used the I, I've used these to be jewel lips to do um, where the liner is to do um, jewels along the lash line, and I really like these for when I'm trying to do something over the top. I'm looking to get into more hair show makeup so that I can really use these. So those two are empty. The next where I have is my hand sanitizer. Um, sanitation is a very serious issue when being in someone's face. Anything you deal with with beauty, um, you should always be very clean. So I have hand sanitizer. 
next compartment, I have my um, Caramanchi. I think it's Caramanchi, and it's um, a facial mist that I got from Elf. I mean, from Elf from Ulta, and I believe the twin pack was nine dollars. So I have this. It's just pure water in the can. And then when you take the let me take this top off so you guys can see it. You take the top off, and it has this spray. And I really like that. Especially if you're going to be doing makeup and going outside to shoot. I have some tissue in case any clients have watery eyes. I also have hydrocortisone so that if any clients have sensitivity or they break out from anything, I'm able to attend to that issue directly. Next thing I have are wipes. I have facial makeup remover wipes. I have wet ones and also some other wipes that I clean. I just love these. These are the Huggies Cucumber and Green Tea. I use these, if I give clients these if they come with makeup on. They use these because I feel as though they're not harsh and they're able to really, you know, get the makeup off and refresh the skin at the same time. So these are all of the type of wipes that I keep. That section is empty. So the next section we're going to go to is the center. In the center here, I'll open it up so you guys can get a better view. So in here, I have a bag of cosmetic wedges and cosmetic sponges. I like to use these for the times where I need to use a brush for more than one reason and don't want to dirty up all the brushes. So I have the triangle sponges. I have rounds. I have everything you could think of. So this is another disposable bag. As well as I have, and from the middle section, this array of eyeliner pencils. I have Wet n Wild, Coal Black, um, a Coal White Pencil, Purple, another brown liner, another brown liner, uh, more of a charcoal gray, another black, this is more of a teal, this is a navy blue, this is a lighter brown, and this is a turquoise pencil. And these are the pencils that I have, everything from NYC to Wet n Wild, Elf. Um, these two with the silver top or with the gold top are black radiance and those are my eyeliner pencils The next thing I have going into this section is my powder bag I keep it inside of just a little clear bag. So here on this end What we have is the NYC translucent powder Then here I have the ruby kisses banana powder and then I have some of the dollar elf some of the elf dollar powders that I like to use for highlighting or contouring. I also have two baked bronzers by elf. So I have that one where the name has rubbed off. This is Enchanted, I believe. And this I don't know the name of, and I don't feel like taking all of these out. So that's that, and that's just the translucent powder. So next in the middle of my bag are my two lipstick pouches so inside this pouch I have the Nana Coco I have NYX I have more NYX and I have the two glitters in there more NYX lipsticks I have a wet and wild sinful colors and just more NYX lip glosses and lipsticks and then we have this where I have the neon high bright color um, clean color lipsticks I have a Rimmel London in Nude Pink. I think it's called Pink Periwinkle. I have New Kiss New York. I have some lip pencils. As you see, I have one in a deep plum. I have a brown. I have a reddish. And then I have a nude color as well as another uh, violet. I have a copper lip pencil by Maybelline. I have some more simple colors. I have some NYC, more Kiss New York, Elf Lip Jellies. I have some Black Radiance, Wet n Wild. have a different array. And as you see here, I have two Elf pencils. They're both in mauve. So these are my two lip bags that I have. So this is my kit. This is just my part of my kit, and this is the set bag that I use. Nothing else is in the set bag, as you see. And what I recommend is just that, you know, you use what works for you. Don't have all MAC and all Urban Decay in your in your, um, in your bag if you don't have clientele enough for that, because otherwise your products will go bad. So I use what works for me and what works for my budget. 
this is what I use. I am not at the level I want it to be. As I stated, I'm nowhere state. I'm not stating that this is the case you should have or you have to have these items. This is what works for me. And the clientele that I currently have, I haven't received any complaints. I'm able to do versatile and subtle as well as off the wall looks with everything that I have. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys again soon. Good night.